so they, it's nice to give them something to, ch to bite down on rather than your finger. <laughs> professional career, I am a biologist. I teach uh, biology at Concord College. Almost all of my teaching is, is centered around my research, and, and birding is part of that. Uh, I teach special classes in bird biology called ornithology, and uh, bird evolution, for example, uh, bird, uh, bird morphology. So a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the anatomy teaching that I do is, is examples are bird-related. If you want to feel it, folks, when I bring it around, you're welcome to. If you want to feel the band, you're welcome Bird banding is a mark and recapture technique. It means you mark them and see how many you recapture, the ones you previously captured or caught uh, the first time you did it. So it's a mark and recapture technique for determining how many birds you have of each kind and how long they live and where they migrate to and from and um, estimating a variety of ec ecological parameters. <laughs> this this tent mouse is a male, which means his cloaca, which we don't have, mammals don't have, but birds have a cloaca that reptiles have. The structure, the stru cloaca is where everything comes out. people that had no idea even how to identify the birds so you have to start from scratch here but if you didn't know how to if you didn't know how to identify them everything else would be, like looking at the feathers and their skull the mating section all that's in here and what band size they take each bird has a certain size leg take a certain size band like this. Oh, you've done that a time, isn't it? West Virginia ranks relatively high on the scale of, of bird watching, bird watching Mecca. A lot of folks flock to West Virginia to the Appalachians. This is a resident bird. She lives here year round in the forest here in West Virginia. It's a forest bird, feeding under insects that go up and down the barks of trees. What kind of a bird does she say? It's a white breasted nuthatch. How old is she? Well, this one, all we can tell is she's after hatch year means she has either last year or years before. Uh, that's all we can tell on her right now. She's already got a nest though. When you blow on the feathers, her belly is bare, which means her, her feathers have fallen off so she can uh, incubate the eggs. Okay, here's her mate, most likely, so this is a male. He's got black on the head, female has gray. So this, this one gets number 59, which she was, 50, female was 58. Better. Male does not have a brood patch, so he's not doing any, he's not doing his share. Here he is. One of our research crews banded 900 pine siskins this winter. At his feeder, at my feeder, I've only banded three, so it shows you difference in spots of migration. So that's another question that we're looking at, for example, in our research. Uh, those pine siskins are loaded with fat all down the abdomen and in the perculum here that I was talking about, indicating there's ways of scoring at how much fat they have. If they need that fat to migrate at night. They all, most all of them migrate at night. They get high in the atmosphere and they fly, especially the thrushes as they're coming across the gulf at night, and warblers and vireos. They fly at night and they use that fat as energy, as fuel. Hold his wings down? Birds aren't going to trust me anymore. No, this. they're not. They're going to be mad at you for days. First catch. Cool.